Welcome, welcome back everybody to another episode of Leagues. We've actually just finished 25 million cooking experience. Not fishing, go figure. <laughs> but we've got a jam-packed episode today and I can't wait to get to it. But I am just going to say, if you haven't already subscribed, consider doing so. It really helps get the videos out there. After I was grinding a little bit of sandstone, I put like 5,000 buckets in there, just overcompensating obviously, and I ended up with 2,316 buckets. Hopefully that's enough. It was certainly enough for the amount of seaweed we had, but the craftsman is really just like genius right here, doing a full inventory at once for a finished at 65 crafting. Yeah, I know, that wasn't exactly a task, but this is Mine Some Runite Ore in the Wilderness for actually four Sage Renowned, I'll take that. Harvest an ear at Leap for 25 Leap Points. So I thought I should dress correctly for this. I gotta change my spellbook to the Lunar Spellbook, and that actually gets us Tier 6, everybody. Such a huge, huge jump. We're now able to get our own Slayer tasks whenever we start Slayer, and it's actually perfect that we haven't started Slayer just yet because of that. Oh, and we got a plank stretcher. Nice, that stretches out your planks when you're doing, <laughs> wow, that stretches out your planks when you're doing some construction work. Check a potato cactus for another 50 points. And honestly, I think I might just farm at the farming guild. That's it. Then we go ahead and take a carpet ride from Polyphonich to Sofenheim. And not only that, being able to walk through these god dang doors is another task as well. 25 extra points. Tier 1, completed. Floor number 2, very quick for you. Floor number 3, also quick for me. Don't worry, you're good, I'm not going to rhyme in the whole time, it's just floor 4. Galore. All right, really, we're not rhyming anymore. It's just floor five. Still alive. Five. Okay, complete floor six for another 50 points. See, I told you I could stop whenever I wanted. Floor seven, going to heaven. And this is actually the last god dang room. I bet you guys are happy about that, but I have to do this another 250 times. Probably later though, not now. Equip a crystal bow, 50 points. While we're in the area, we decided to kill a Calphite Guardian, and lo and behold, it's actually a task. Go away, you goddamn bug. He's got the longest dialogue, but that's complete the Easy Desert Diary. For five points? Picking up one more achievement lamp, and we're getting a clean 50 Herbalor locked into. Oh, activate three set effects. You know, this is what I was talking about, just tasks that are sitting in your bank that you don't really know about wasn't technically sitting in my bank, but kinda. You know what I mean. And teleport to Prit. No? Huh, I could have swore that was gonna be a task. All right, one more easy diary done for five points. One more herb lore lamp getting us all the way up to 52. Okay, so it's finally time to pull the trigger. I think we have enough for every single quest left over. So let's do it. Troll 3, done and over with. And I think we can actually get a couple of tasks from completing this too. Nope. Well, I guess not. The next one we need to unlock, Karen number 3. Er, I'm pretty sure this is the one. Yeah. We got a 7 Sage Renown for all of that? Very, very nice. <laughs> oh, okay. Get 100% look of Eng favor. Glad I don't have to do that. And I bet it's just completing a bunch of different, yeah, complete a bunch of different quests that I didn't want to do anyway. Very nice. And now we're actually gonna start doing something I've been putting off for quite a while, questing. So we're gonna handle it rapid fire style, basically like a Pokemon rap. Michelin Mysteries, which is potion, dwarf cannon, clock tower, Hazel Cult, Doric Quest, which is how Observatory Quest, Scorpion Catcher, the Fight Arena, the Golem, the Knight Sword, Demon Slayer, and a Soul's Bane, Dragon Bone Man, with the Tower of Light, and last but not least, Tribal Totem. I know a really hard one. You know, I gotta tell you why these virtual levels are nice. They give me a second to slow down and say. Holy shit, man, you get like 300 snake grass out of a single plot. 
Check a potato cactus for 50 more league points while we're in the farming guild. Now I know there's a task for equipping one of these gloves, so I just bought them all and it looks like nice. Go equip some mithril gloves. Anything for the adamant? Huh. Well that sucks. Probably for rune. The one and only time it's ever okay to kill a turtle. Defeat a tortoise with riders. After that my dig site pendant needs updating, but first we've got to unlock the entire mycelium transport system. After that use the- oh shit, not teleport. After that use this on this altar right here and we get ourselves one more league test done. No? Okay, one more league test done by actually using it. Virtual level of 105, but that's not the talk of the town. It's 25 million fishing experience basically right after it. For four whole sage renown on 125 league points. Barbarian agility course completed. So it's time we started looking at a couple of bosses. We've completed all of the quests that we can unlock and we even started questing. I roll because you can't see it. <laughs> but it's time to pick what quests we're actually going to start doing and I think we're just going to start from the bottom up, like always, and pick the cheapest ones we can get to and start them cracking out. Plus with Obor, yep, you get five keys instantly. So obviously we have to do Bryo Fighter right after it for another five keys. The next boss I'm thinking we should unlock, Haspori. It should probably give you five seeds, right? It only makes, it only makes sense? Okay. Well, fuck us then, huh? <laughs> All right, next thing to unlock, Barrows. That's on the list. It's pretty much like next on the list, but not next, next. So let's go, Barrows. And we got 16 points left. What exactly can we buy with 16 points? Mm, guardians, we need a Slayer level. Next, I mean, not necessarily ready for that or don't have a team. Skatizo. Yeah, you know what? Why not? It even gives you five totems. Nice. There we go. So we got 11 points left, and obviously, we have to unlock something dumb. Let's get Serachnus. Might as well start squishing the big spider, right? So let's go ahead and do it. Unlocking Serachnus for our last 10 points. And now we're left with one again. It's time to start that grind all over again. All right, damn it, if we're ever gonna start combat, this is step number one. And it's really just a step to st more steps. Equip a dragon scimitar is obviously a task and equip a dragon weapon is also a task. So we locked in another five sage now. I don't plan on spending too much time around here, but I was hoping I could find a ninja imp, but unfortunately we didn't. But we got 50 Puro Puro Implings instead. Since we unlocked Cryptinus, we need to do the agility course for an extra 50 points. And then we need to do the agility course well for another 50 points. Is this a trap? I've been looking all over for one. Yes, finally. Cross a trap in Isidar. So with these easier bosses that really only cost five, there's no reason we shouldn't go knock these out right away. Especially because they probably have a task that'll just make up the points that you bought it with anyway. Now I don't actually know how to do Obor properly or whatever the combat achievement task is, but if you guys do, go ahead and leave it down in the comments. I've seen like a magic snare method that I might actually try, but this gets us Three whole tasks at once. Oh boy, novice, back to the wall and fighting as intended. And that's actually 10 easy combat achievements as well. Which gets us four Sage Renown. With almost all five keys used up at this point, we have gotten ourselves Obor Champion. No Hill Giant Club apparently, but hey, you can't exactly expect every unique in five kills. So we might have to grind this out a little bit later because it is a task. But on the other hand, we've got to do Bryo Fida as well. There's five more keys for her. Oop, forgot my axe. Time to get rid of them. I almost actually killed her without these things even spawning. And honestly, there's not too much that we can expect from either Bryo Fida or Obor, but we do actually get a couple of clues and on the very off chance we could get. Ooh, defeat Bryo Fida. Preparation is key. Fighting as intended. 
And we got another 22 Sage Renowned in the bag for all that too. You know what's really funny? I'm already well into my next kill and I'm still seeing the league task achievements from my last kill. And here I am getting another task from what I just did. Quick cutter, done and over with. So we're working on the last kill here, all five keys done and over. We haven't gotten too bad a loot, to be honest, but we haven't seen what we're looking for, just... <laughs> five kill Bryo Essence, no way. Well, now I gotta go make the sap instantly. Somebody tag only trails. Now, if you think about a task that doesn't have a lot of effort into it, that's enter the Warrior's Guild. I say that because everyone trains combat as soon as they start the game. And what else are we going to do in here except defeat some animated rune armor? So I like to go overboard and I'm probably going to get about uh, maybe 1,500, 2,000 tokens before I even move up to the Cyclopses because I do not want to come back down here. Something I totally forgot to do? <laughs> Equip a full rune set? Alright, back to Dragon Hell. <laughs> like the first two or three kills I got a longbow? Alright. And thanks to our fragments, we've actually got reach base level 50. You gotta love it. We're getting massive amounts of Slayer XP while we're here. Of course you gotta do this on task, you'd be crazy not to. Ooh, there we go. And honestly, that was like 12 kills, Bronze Defender coming in. Oh, caught me off guard. 250 Slayer creatures for another 25 points. There we go, give me that Iron Defender. And obviously, just to save you guys the trouble, we got all the way up to the Rune Defender, and there's only one more left to go. So let's get it. We got 60 left in our task. <laughs> and oh my god, everybody. Three kills later. Dragon Defender. That's absolutely ridiculous. Oh. Yep, it took us about 230 Cyclops kills to get it. Not ashamed at all. Let's go ahead and pick this up before it despawns, I guess. <laughs> Equip a Dragon Defender. Of course it's a task. And let's go ahead and uh, gloat in this guy's face. Three kills. Of course it looks like I typed like a robot. And we put it off for too long, but we finally made it. It's the Bryophyta Staff. And of course, equipping that bad boy is a task for 50 League Points. We're already all the way back up to 40 Sage Renowned again, too. And I didn't exactly come in with like levels or anything during all that uh, grinding for the Cyclopses, but we were training strength pretty much the whole time and it got us all the way up to level 83. So not bad, we were in the 70s when we started. And of course we're down here at Hill Giants because I had to finish out my Slayer task. I mean, I can't really bitch about getting a three kill defender, can I? But bringing ourselves back into the light, checking a grown fruit tree is actually two more Sage Renowned. Hey, something I just realized, clean a grimy Evento is actually a task. I pretty much just skipped right over short bows this time around, but equip a maple and equip a yellow short bow it gets us another couple of tasks. Three more league points. Got a steal from a hero. And you know what's crazy? The requirements to be one of these guys is you gotta be strong, you gotta be fast, and you gotta be fresh from a fight. And he's also gotta be larger than life, just so you know. <laughs> Pickpocket an elf 50 times, right along with Pickpocket a Vire 50 times. We didn't get lucky for either of those, but that's okay. Frank, my dude, get 50 league points just for petting Frank. And we can't forget about the other goodest boy, he's an island boy. And another thing is turn in 2,000 day-old shards into essence. And that leads right into our next grind. Oh, it's a spell. Okay. Well, this is the main reason why Last Recall is the absolute boss. Hashtag re Last Recall for real game. Anyone else with me? Create a battle staff was a task, and because a lava battle staff doesn't count as elemental, equip that as well also counts for another. Wow, 68 total Sage Renowned. Craft a rune using Day All Essence for another 50 points, and bringing us all the way up to 56 rune crafting. And in the very next inventory, everybody, we've got Craft 50 Law Runes, 
for another three Sage Renown, bringing us all the way up to 74. Now the real grind begins, and we got our first production fragment, so what can we get, everybody? Ooh, Rune Escape. That's very nice. I think that's the one that makes sure that we get uh, better runes, specifically from the ZMI altar. Yep, the very first tier. No longer gain mind runes, body runes, and then elemental runes. Hmm, that's interesting. One more fragment, everybody, and it's actually another one. No way. Okay, this one gives us double runes. But, I mean, it's really obvious from the name. <laughs> Here's one big milestone for the league. Craft 2,500 rune essence. So it's that time again where we should look at what we got to unlock. And since we got like 77 points, that's a little bit of everything. So Dagonoth Kings, going to need a few rings. Don't mind if I do. And then after that, you know, we shouldn't really be picky. So Giant Mole. I'm not sure if we're actually even going to fight Giant Mole. Well, actually, we have to fight Giant Mole, what, once or twice for diary tasks, but other than that, don't really care. Cerberus? Maybe. Mm, I would totally do Grotesque Guardians, but I don't have a Slayer level, so KBD. And we, this actually lets us be able to complete the Wilderness Achievement Diary. The easy one, at least. So after that, we might as... Uh, next? No... I mean, there's really no chance I'd be able to get a team together right now. Zolra, that's the one. That's the answer we've been all looking for. We need to get ourselves a Tanzanite Fang. And as soon as I get the Slayer level, I'm going to unlock Kraken too. But with only 12 points left, I think we have to do it. That's right, Cal Fight Queen it is. And, you know, I'm sure we need it for the Desert Achievement Diaries. And for that, guys, that's actually gonna be it. Thanks so much for sticking around today. If you liked it, don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe, and I will see you all later.